trouble is only mounting for the British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. But this time it's not about the economy or the protests over pay raises or about the failure to live up to the climate actions. British police are looking into a rather interesting case which involves the Prime Minister of the UK, Rishi Sunak himself. The British Prime Minister is facing backlash after a video of him was posted where he could be seen riding in a car without a seat belt, which, by the way, is a punishable offence in the UK. The police response has been prompted by a viral social media clip in which Sunak is seen sitting in a moving car but without his seat belt on. In the video, the unbuckled conservative leader speaks about his policies for boosting growth during a trip to Lancashire in uh, England's north. Take a look at this video first. One of my New Year's promises to you was to grow the economy. And today we're announcing the second round of allocations from our levelling up fund. And that's about investing in local areas in order to create jobs and help deliver on that promise to boost growth. In total, we're announcing over £2 billion of funding, and that's going to go to support projects across a hundred different local communities around the UK. Now, I'm out and about seeing levelling up in action all across the country today. So from Crossrail in Cardiff to Ferry in Fair Isle, we're building on the almost £2 billion and 100 projects we've already funded previously in this fund. Now, you can follow my progress as I go around the country today here online, or alternatively, go to the government's levelling up website where you can see an interactive map of everything that we're doing. Now, this video has put the leader in a very tough spot, so much so that he had to apologise for the incident. His office said it was an error of judgement on his part and that he took his seat belt off that he took his seatbelt off for a short period of time to film the clip. Rishi Sunak's spokesperson came to his rescue, saying that the Prime Minister fully accepts this was a mistake and apologises, adding that the Prime Minister believes everyone should wear a seatbelt. While being apologetic for the incident is not enough, irrespective of the position that you hold in the society, the law applies to everyone. According to the UK government, you can be fined $617 for not wearing a seatbelt when you are supposed to. Moreover, a government report released in 2021 says 24% of car occupant fatalities in the past five years were because of not wearing a seatbelt. On the other hand, a Lancashire police a spokesperson has said that authorities were aware of the matter and they will be looking into it. The leader, Rishi Sunak, has been driving into one controversy after another. He took office in October 2022, ending a year of political instability. But life has been quite unstable for him ever since. He is dealing with major economic troubles, a broken healthcare system along with protests. Inflation in the UK in recent months has crossed the 10% mark. People are struggling to make ends meet. The cost of commodities is only rising. The NHS, the country's healthcare system, has been protesting for a while now over pay raise. In the latest, the heads of health services are organizing the coordinated walkouts and this could be the biggest day of industrial action the NHS has ever seen. As this would be the first time nurses, ambulance workers and param paramedics would refuse to work at the same time. Nursing for 35 years, I never saw a time that I would be on strike, uh, but things really have got so bad that I feel that we don't have any other option. We need to get Rishi Sunak to come and talk to, to Pat Cullen about how we can resolve the pay uh, situation that we're in. There's always enough money for MPs to get a pay rise. I don't know why they can't actually talk to us reasonably. Sunak has been under constant pressure. 
He was put under opposition fire for using a Royal Air Force jet to fly to the north of the country. Although Downing Street insisted the use of the aircraft was to ensure the best use of the Prime Minister's time. The opposition, the Labour Party, also took a dig at the Prime Minister when he struggled to make a contactless payment with his card. So while the UK is facing increasing issues, the Prime Minister does not seem to know how to manage a seatbelt, his de debit card, the train services, the economy and the country itself. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.